back to live review i have been very very nice i'm sending a lot of hugs and positivity to all of you in today's video i'm going to be making my second vision board the video link to where i made my first ever vision board is in the description so you can check it out also i've given a lot of information about how you should be selecting pictures and kind of like the basics of making a vision board in that video itself there are a lot of things that i have learned in the past one one and a half year about vision board manifestation a few mistakes that i made and a few things that you can do to make sure that your manifestations are coming true when you're manifesting the life that you want therefore today while making the vision board i'm going to answer all those hot questions let's begin the video i still have the old pictures from last year over here because the first question i want to answer which is like the most asked question is did the vision board work for me and the answer is yes it definitely worked for me and in the places where it did not i know exactly why it did not work for me a few pictures of my room and bookshelves over here all the bookshelves that i had put on the vision board i have them and i have my dream room with me the only thing that did not happen though is that i wanted to live alone and i'm living with my parents the next is this which is a picture of ella more which i wanted to publish i have published it it is available on amazon right now it's out of stock but it is available on amazon i have things written over here like i can afford a healthy good lifestyle and that i earn 50k per month i remember when i was making the vision board i was going through some financial issues and it was very very bad but at this point i do make enough to afford a good healthy lifestyle and i am so grateful for it and it did come true look this is the bookshelf that i have right now i did have a lot of pictures of fitness and nutrition because there was something that i wanted to focus on and improve and i definitely did that i built the habits that i wanted to build i have a good nutrition plan with myself i eat healthy i take care of my body in an amazing way i go to the gym i have enough water it did come true next up is something that did not come true and that is the picture like of my youtube equipment which i wanted to buy last year itself i know the reason why it did not come true and the reason reason is that i kind of relate buying equipment for youtube to considering myself as a real youtuber and if you have watched like my time out video or videos where i'm talking about what my mindset was earlier i was very scared of becoming a real youtuber because it is a very unstable space to be in and i did not know how to manage it but i have been working on it recently i just have a couple more things to do and i feel like as soon as i do them hopefully this year itself you are going to see an unboxing of my equipment and it's going to be so much fun and i can't wait for it then i have pictures of some women all dressed up and confident and cool and stuff and that is something i really wanted last year when i was making the vision board i really wanted to be confident within my body i wanted to wear whatever i wanted to wear i wanted to be able to get all those clothes and i did all of that and i dress up amazingly now and i wear whatever i want to wear it does not matter what it is it does not matter whether it's like a dress or a quad set or a, you know a t-shirt the point is i'm very very confident when i do all of this especially in the gym confidence was the goal and i have it another thing that did not come true is getting 100k subscribers on youtube it's a little sad honestly but again it is related to the same fear of becoming a real youtuber and actually accepting it as my career and that's it apart from that we have pictures of like long term goals which they are coming i mean i know i'm on the way and they're coming true now we have the new pictures the board is clear and i'm so excited the next question is what i did differently this time while making the vision board from the first time and the one thing that i did differently this time while choosing the pictures was making it more specific specific like as specific as possible and visually specific feelings and emotions is such a key to the whole manifestation process the vision board is supposed to induce inspiration in a visual format not a word format which means if i'm looking at a picture of a room that i want what i think is okay i want to live alone but what my brain is seeing is that room and that is why i'm manifesting that room which is why this year i have selected pictures that i exactly want to replicate like i want to replicate that picture itself not what i think about that picture but what i feel when i see those pictures for example i have a lot of pictures of women traveling while working that is something i really really want i love working and i really want to like keep working in the best way possible traveling while working is something out of the world for me and i really want to do it which is why this time i have selected pictures depicting that 
that not just the places where i want to visit not just a layout of a work table a woman with coffee and her macbook sitting in a place all dressed up working like a business woman the next question is what is it i think stopped me from manifesting the life i want like certain things that i was not able to manifest like what really stopped me there and the answer to that is mental blocks mental blocks are certain emotions that your brain does not want you to experience for example if you look at something and you get really scared or if you look at something and you just know that you know you cannot get it and you can you don't believe in the fact that you can get it then you're not going to manifest it or if there are emotions like fear or jealousy those kind of emotions associated with what you want you are not going to manifest it which is exactly what i think happened with me gaining 100,000 subscribers or getting my youtube equipment i was just so scared of the pressure that would come on me if i got all of that and i did not know how to manage it and all of this is subconscious consciously you may really really want what you want obviously that's the reason you're putting it on the vision board but subconsciously there may be some mental block there may be some kind of emotion fear or a limiting belief that is stopping you from getting it maybe there is something that you really really want consciously but subconsciously you judge other people for having it which is a negative emotion if you are judging other people for having something that you want for yourself you are not going to manifest it because your subconscious is not going to let you want to judge yourself for having it so these are mental blocks as soon as i started working on certain mental blocks i started receiving whatever it is i wanted the whole earning enough amount of money through my creativity there was a huge mental block there i genuinely believe that money is evil and as soon as i started working on that belief i manifested it i am in no way saying that this is something easy to do the next question is what are the few things you can do to make sure you're manifesting the life you want the first tip i have for you is journaling journaling is amazing journaling is something that will change your life your emotions and feelings is what matters that is the truth of your subconscious mind as soon as you see something focus on how you feel about it your feelings are going to tell you the truth about your subconscious mind and how do we understand what we are feeling and how do we manage our emotions through journaling journaling is a very powerful and helpful tool that will help you to understand your emotions as soon as you write something down it becomes clearer and it helps your mind to process the emotion and let it go other kinds of journaling like affirmation journaling gratitude journaling i already have a video on affirmation journaling i'm coming up with a video for gratitude journaling can help you a lot in manifestation when you're grateful for something you're in a place of happiness and abundance and gratitude which are good feelings and when you're feeling good you attract more good towards yourself that's very simple therefore journaling is an amazing thing to do for yourself next up we have therapy therapy is said to be something that you take when you're going through a very difficult time in your life and that is absolutely true but that's not all that therapy helps you with the mental blocks that i talked about can also root from low self-esteem low self-worth because of the things that may have happened in your childhood and you don't even know about it these things may be holding you back you know sometimes when you know exactly what you should be doing but you're not able to do it and you keep procrastinating there's a huge possibility that you don't believe in the fact that you deserve what you're working for which is why your brain is not letting you work on it and it is procrastinating it is not always easy to understand all of these things yourself sometimes you do need help and therapy is such a beautiful way to help you through these mental blocks you have someone who knows psychology who is an expert of psychology who can help you to go back to the roots to your childhood to your teenage phase to certain situations that created all those subconscious beliefs and once you come to know about the root why that subconscious belief is there you can work on it you can journal you can let it go you can do affirmation journaling and you can manifest whatever you want okay my story got over and i had to wait till the files transferred which is why now the sun is coming on my face but i want to tell you the last two things that you can do to make sure your manifestations are coming true if therapy is something that you're not able to afford or you're not able to take because of any reason because it may be a little difficult to take therapy this step it's not a replacement to therapy you have to do it even if you are 
taking therapy but if you're not taking therapy also i think it can be very very helpful and it is mental health work or reflection for example i had a limiting belief i had a limiting belief that money is evil now if i think that something is evil i will not attract it no matter what pictures i put on my vision board what do i do with this limiting belief so you can choose a limiting belief for yourself sun is really coming on my face so you can choose a limiting belief for yourself and then write it on top of a notebook that this is what i believe then start asking questions to yourself why is that your belief why do i think that money is evil try to look back and think of the experiences that you have had with that limiting belief go back to your childhood go back to your teenage and keep writing everything your writing does not have to have any structure your writing does not have to answer specific question it does not have to be pointed it is not a letter you're writing to someone else this is completely for yourself you can do it on a sheet of paper or you can have a notebook you can burn it after you're done with it so no one is going to read it it's no one but you once you start pouring down on the paper try to let the emotions flow whatever you're feeling when you're thinking about that situation this really helps in the process of letting go of those emotions letting go of the mental blocks and forgiving whoever it is or whatever it is that hurt you and then you have space for positive emotion so once you're done understanding what is it that stopped you write down the positive emotions you want to feel in place of that once i figure out why i think money is evil and now i don't want to believe that anymore what is it that i do want to believe i want to believe that i'm grateful for money because money helps me live a good and healthy lifestyle money helps me help other people so you write those po- positive beliefs down with the help of that make short positive affirmations and when you're doing your affirmation journaling or if you're saying affirmations to yourself every day say that affirmation to yourself every day so that you start rewiring your subconscious mind you get rid of the mental block and manifest the life you want and last but not the least we have meditation and visualization which i have talked about a lot meditation really helps you to choose the kind of thoughts that you want when you're starting out it's not going to be easy at all and it does not have to be easy at all you don't have to not have any thought whatsoever that is not what meditation is about meditation is about letting your thoughts flow and learning to manage them you can start with guided meditation it is very very helpful so yes you guys these are the things that i wanted to share with you when i'm making my new vision board because they can be very very helpful i really hope some of those tips helped you now it is time for the big reveal i am so sorry that a part of that footage was me doing this but i really hope that the content was helpful now let's do the big reveal of the beautiful vision board that i've made this time excited about it i hope you guys enjoyed the video i got to run to the gym now i'll see you guys very very soon bye